Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with a review of this 2016 LEGO set, set number 60116, the Ambulance Plane. This set is ages 5 to 12 and has 183 pieces. This set comes with three minifigures, the dirt bike, and of course the air ambulance airplane. Here are the three minifigures that you get in this set. The first one here is the first ambulance driver. As you can see, he's holding a needle. He's just got normal white pants on and his medic torso is pretty neat. It's got front printing as well as it's got some back printing. He's got a different looking face and it's actually kind of neat because I thought it was a misprint but then I realized on his eyes it looks like he's like it's a reflection off the sun. And he's just got a normal hat on. The dirt bike driver here, the one that needs the ambulance plane, has just plain dark bluish gray pants on. He's got this cool racing torso with the you know front as well as some pretty awesome back printing. It's it's got this really neat logo on it and the black and the green match the color of his bike which you're going to see in a minute. As you can see he's wearing a black helmet on with a dark visor and when you take the helmet off he's just got a pretty plain face underneath. The third and final minifigure in this set is the female minifigure. As you can see she has just white pants on. Her torso is a bit different as she is the pilot to the plane. She's got like a harness on her as well as the medic stripe in case she has to jump out of a plane. And as you can see she also has some back printing. She has a red helmet on and when you take off her helmet as you can see you'll just find a female head underneath. I hate when they make females have the head pieces but not a hair piece because I'm always short on female hair pieces but I have a million of their heads. As I mentioned the dirt bike rider comes with a matching dirt bike that as you can see is black and green and it looks really neat and it appears he's number three. So here's the airplane itself and it it's fairly cool. Up at the front here is the cockpit and as you can just see it's very easy just to take off. And there's room for one pilot to sit there and the pilot does fit very nicely in the cockpit. And there's this little control panel so the pilot can like you know control the airplane. It's a neat effect here because it looks like there's a seat but really it just continues all the way back in the airplane. This is what the front of the plane also looks like. You cannot get into the roof from here. This is a solid roof, like you can't do anything. On each side here is a propeller, which is pretty neat. And each propeller has a sticker on it, a black and yellow one. So that's pretty cool when you turn those. Underneath each propeller, it looks like this really cool engine on the plane. And it's pretty neat because they're not connected whatsoever. But it just adds a really nice effect more detail to the plane. Up at the top here there's just another sticker to give it even more detail. The back of the plane uses this really neat build technique. I really like how the frame of the plane is kind of away from the actual body of the plane so that's pretty cool. As you can see it consists of this white and red color. At the very back of the plane here are the tail of the plane and it's pretty neat. It's got these stickers on it that say the set number as well as the little ambulance logo there. There's also this, I don't remember what this is, kind of like the tail of the plane with two blue lights so you can kind of see there's like sirens in the air which is neat. On each side of this like frame of the plane there's some red plates as well as there's some trans green plates on the other side. At the very back of the plane here as you can see it has these two sticker pieces just to kind of know it's a platform as well as these two orange lights. Here at the bottom of the plane there are three wheels. These ones are pretty much fixed in place but there's two on each one and this one's a 360 degree rotating wheel. On each side of the plane here there's this little 1x8 ambulance brick but the sticker of the brick actually only takes up a 1x6 brick. Also hard to see but there's these two windows so the patient can look out. Overall there's just a lot of really cool detail in the set regarding like the structure and the frame of the plane and it just looks pretty unique. Way to get play features in this set is that the Lego has created the set so the back as well as this part of the roof does open up. As you can see in the airplane there is absolutely no play features besides the fact that you like put the stretcher in there but there's no medic bag or anything like that. When this set is down on the ground the medics can take the stretcher with the person on it and they can slide it all the way to the back. Then what they would do would be to close the roof and close the back hatchet I think it's called and take off. Boom. And honestly, there's just barely enough room for the second ambulance officer to be able to sit in the back there with the patient. This set also comes with a copy of the new style stretcher, but that's pretty boring. I'm pretty sure the overall idea for this set is that the dirt bike rider has fallen off his bike and the ambulance plane has come to save him. Overall, this is a really awesome plane with lots of awesome detail. I do have to say there's not many play features in this set, but I think LEGO makes up for that in the cool look. Thanks everybody so much for watching a review of set number 60116, The Ambulance Plane. This is a pretty neat set and it's definitely a must have for 2016. Thanks everybody for watching and don't forget to subscribe for daily LEGO videos.